I've been using Roam Research for a while and it's truly transformed my life. It made it so much easier for me to study new things, write more and create new ideas. But recently I saw many comments about how Roam can be overwhelming for people who are just starting to use it. This is totally understandable because I had no idea how to use it at first. I mean, when you open it, it's just a blank page, that's all. I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? So many people look for Roam tutorials, but there are hundreds of different articles and videos about Roam now. It can be very overwhelming, and most people feel like they don't know where to start. To make it worse, many Roam videos and articles, including my own, contain jargons like Zero Custom and Evergreen Notes, which can be confusing. That's why I wanted to make this short video about my advice on how to use Roam. My advice is actually very simple. It's only three words, write and connect. That's all. You don't have to watch a bunch of tutorials. You don't have to watch my videos too. It's not necessary to know what Zetu Custom is or what Evergreen Note is at the beginning. You just want to write everything in your daily note and connect ideas using square brackets. The key is to use the daily note. It's important to write everything in your daily note. There are two reasons for this. One is that it saves time and mental energy. The beauty of Rome, in my opinion, is its simplicity. There is no folders or notebooks like in Notion or Evernote. You only have your daily note. And because there is no folders or whatsoever in Rome, you can focus 100% on writing instead of wasting your time and mental energy on organizing or categorizing your notes. That's actually close to how our mind works. Our mind doesn't have folders or categories. Ideas are scattered across everywhere. They are not contained in a folder or anything. And because your ideas are not contained in one place, you can easily connect different ideas together. And that's an aha moment. That's when you understand the concept or generate new ideas. So by writing everything on the daily note, you can focus on what truly matters, like writing and creating new ideas instead of boring things like organizing or categorizing your notes. The second reason why you should write everything on the daily note is that it helps you capture your ideas more efficiently. Apparently, we have 50,000 to 70,000 thoughts in a day. That means we have between 35 and 48 thoughts per minute. In just one minute, you think about many things, like your friends, your partner, work, sex, the movie you watched last night, or the dinner you're going to have tonight. 80% of these random thoughts are meaningless, but some of them are useful ideas, and you might want to write them down. The great thing about Daily Note is that you can write anything on it, regardless of your ideas category. Like in my Daily Note, I usually write down almost every interesting thought, which might be about cooking, video ideas, tweet ideas, what I talked with my friends, or what I studied. On the other hand, in apps like Evernote or Notion, when you think of an idea, first you have to identify what category does the idea belong to, such as studying, relationships, or business, and then you have to find the folder of the category, then open the folder, and finally get to write the idea down. To me, this whole process is a waste of time and mental energy, whereas in Rome, you can skip this entire process, write everything down in the daily note, and link your ideas together. This way, you can capture your ideas efficiently. In summary, if you just started to use in Rome, you don't have to watch a bunch of tutorials, including mine, because it can be overwhelming. My advice is simply write and connect in the daily note. You don't have to write in dedicated pages for different subjects. You can just write them all in the daily note. And if you want to focus on a topic, you can click focus on block. Then, when you got used to Roam, you can start exploring how other people use it, and incorporate some of their workflows into yours. You don't have to copy other people's workflow from the beginning, because everyone thinks in a different way, and we all have different workflows. So just because it works for someone, doesn't mean it works for you. What's important is that you find your own best workflow in Roam. And the best way to do that is to write and connect in the daily note, and see your thought pattern emerges. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to connect with me, please feel free to send me a message on Twitter. Thanks, bye.